Hi, I'm Annie. I work at an advertising agency. I'm dating Albert, who is my boss. I love my job because I can meet my beloved boyfriend at work. However, a new girl who recently started working at the office is a problem. Annie, I don't know how to work on this document, so could you do it for me? I already taught you how to do it before. I'm hoping that you can handle that on your own. But Albert said that I don't need to do any difficult tasks. What? Albert said that? Yep. I think he likes me because he always looks at me. Oh, sorry. I was forgetting that he is your boyfriend. I don't know why, but everyone has a crush on me. But don't get me wrong. I didn't want to let you down. Hi, Albert. Annie. How was your day? I want to ask you something. Did you say to Emma that she doesn't need to do any hard work? Huh? What are you talking about? Emma doesn't work hard because you said that. Nah, haha. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. The other day, she tried to do something beyond the capabilities of her, like a team leader. So I told her that she hasn't had that ability yet. Oh, I see. Maybe she misunderstood then. And she also said that you always look at her. Me? No way. Actually, I was looking at her because I had to evaluate her work ability. Of course, I had to assess everyone else too. Oh, I see. Well, I'll be a little more careful. I don't want to make any trouble. Now it's clear to me that it was just her misunderstanding. I told her about that too, and everything seemed to be fine. However. Hey Annie, I don't know why, but I think Albert is really starting to like me. What are you talking about? I told you that it was your misunderstanding, didn't I? But it's obvious that he has a crush on me. Every time we talk, he focuses on my lips, and then he walks away quickly. I bet he's wanting to kiss me. Okay, that's enough. For now, I want you to stop thinking about Albert and just focus on your work. I didn't believe what Emma said, but I asked Albert just in case. Hey, Emma was talking about you again. What did she say this time? She told me that you always look at her lips and walk away after that. <laughs> half right, but half wrong. Since you were out all day, you didn't see her at the office today, right? She looked so weird with a strange lipstick color today. It didn't look good on her at all. So I was wondering why she put that on. I was about to start laughing, so that's why I walked away quickly. Oh, that's funny. And it was not only me. Everyone else was looking at her too. <laughs> They talked a lot about it today. Then it was Emma's overthinking again, wasn't it? Yes. So don't worry too much. A few days later, our client is coming to the office today, so be ready for that. Okay. Yes. Oh, look, Annie. He's staring at me. Huh? Wow. Yes, he's staring at you. Oh my goodness! You should learn something from me, Annie. Otherwise, you're going to spend the rest of your life miserably. Well, isn't he staring at you too much? Oh my God! He's walking up to us. So, are you Emma? What are you doing here? Of course, I'm working. Good to hear that. Did you hear that? He came up to me for just saying that. He totally wants to ask me out. You should imitate me, Annie. What? No thanks. You don't have to act like that. Let's get back to work before he comes back. I can't stop guys liking me. It was such a tough day today. The hot client was giving me the eye all day. You never know how tough it is to work all day in that situation. Yeah, that sounds so tough for you. By the way, have you finished the work I asked you? The deadline is today. I didn't see you doing it. That one, I'm already done. It was a piece of cake. Oh look, that hot client is there again. Hi, sir. Nice to see you again. Hello. Oh, Emma, I've been watching you today. You have? Yes, you. You are wearing a funny lipstick, and not just the lipstick, but also your whole makeup doesn't match you. And plus, your fashion doesn't look decent for your organizational culture. 
you should be more aware of the work environment. Have you noticed that Annie has been in trouble with you? Me? Emma, you may think you work hard, but actually not. Maybe you're thinking that I have a crush on you. But I'm sorry, I'm married. I'm not interested in any ladies who are all about themselves. Well, I think I have enough from this visit today. See you later. Um, are you alright, Emma? No, I'm not fine. That was rude. I'm so embarrassed. To tell the truth, I think what he said was too much, but I also felt better since he said everything about Emma instead of us. Emma was too shocked to come to work for a couple of days, and when she came back to work, she looked so different. It would be nice if she realized that she was too self-conscious, and I'm hoping that she won't act like that anymore.